case you don't know me, which I think most of you guys probably know me, I'm Hobie, I'm a senior. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Great, I'm so good, thanks Hanan and Maya. Okay, so my MLP, I did sort of a photojournalism project in St. Louis, obviously that's where we live. So, let me make sure my brightness is up. So to start out, it was not up. <laughs> um, so in case you don't know, I really enjoy doing photography. I started last year, I took um, digital photography. I just used a school camera, went around and did the sort of projects. As you can see, I did sort of planned out photo shoots sort of with ideas in mind from the digital photography class, whether it was like portray this motion, do a close up, do black and white. And I planned out shoots with my friends, as you can see, lovely Maya, Trudy, Violetta photos. They're gorgeous, appreciate them. The people, not the photos. Um, and then from there, it's sort of, I realized I enjoyed taking photos of people in their natural environments, doing what they would do naturally, organically, sort of candid photography, and I really enjoyed doing it with my friends, because I love my friends. Here's some lovely photos, examples of that. Um, we thought Nick and Georgia were identical. Turns out they aren't. Uh, but, so that was sort of the foundation of this project. There was two foundations, but this one is, I wanted a way to take more photography. And the other one, in case you don't know, I also do a little bit of poetry. I happened to last year win a competition. I'm the Youth Poet Laureate of St. Louis, which is a bunch of fancy words for I do poetry and get paid to do it. Um, but I've sort of grown as a poet to do branch out from just, it's not just my perspective anymore, but it's the town's perspective, the city's perspective, somebody else's perspective, someone else's experience. And so the other foundation of this was my poem, City of Houses, which ended up becoming a popular poem of mine. It became requested. I would go to these performances and people would be like, can you do this poem? And it sort of made me realize sort of the impact of this experience. It's a, you can read it if you want. You don't need to. I'm sure you'll hear it again at some point. It's also really tiny, but, um, it's basically, it's a city, it's a poem about how St. Louis is a city of sort of abandoned houses, how you can drive through and you can see decrepit houses along our main streets and then you can drive into areas that are nicer like Place Mill Lagoon and you'll see like art deco buildings built from like sort of the bones of old St. Louis brick architecture, which I think has a lot of undertones with the history of St. Louis. But, so for my project, I wanted to go around and interview people, ask them about their experience with St. Louis, ask them about their perception of the city, sort of, I've grown up hearing the same sort of perspectives, either from the news or from people around me. It's like really popular for teenagers to be like, I wanna get out of St. Louis, we hate St. Louis. And I'm like, fair play, I wanna get out of St. Louis too. Um, but I wanted to see if that was the universal narrative of the city. So <coughs> I decided I was gonna try and go to different locations throughout the city to get different perspectives. I was gonna go north of Del Mar, Forest Park, Central West End, The Loop. I didn't end up going to the loop because it's both really crowded and it's hard to like single out someone to be like, you, can I talk to you? And I just got plenty of other interviews and I asked the same questions to everyone, which was, how long have you lived in St. Louis? Where in St. Louis do you live? How has the environment sort of affected your happiness? Has it contributed? Has it negatively impacted? Are they completely separate entities? And then would you slash have you slash would you again raise your kids in the city? I thought that sort of gave me like a good understanding of like, all the factors that could affect how you interact with your environment. These are some of the lovely people. But basically, this is the final project product. It's sort of small. It looks sort of insignificant, but I. it's more about the process that was hearing all these stories from all these different people. I heard it from, I did seven official interviews, but a lot of the interviews were two people at once getting the two different perspectives. So it ended up being like 12 to 13. And then I called it City of Stories because it's a play on my poem. It's funny. No one laughs. <laughs> uh, and then I put a preface in that I'll read. Um, I'm a 17 year old girl. I'm straight. I'm Jewish. I'm a friend. I'm a poet. I'm an observer. And I live in St. Louis, Missouri. The city is steeped in history from the World's Fair to the Dred Scott decision that shaped and continues to shape how the city runs today. I've lived through some events that have shaped this city, Michael Brown's death, the Ferguson protests, um, the coronavirus, the central visual and performing arts and collegiate shooting, and many more. These stories have been published. These stories have existed in the limelight. But as, as I learned to explore one's experience through my poetry, I began to realize just how many stories do not make it into the limelight, just how many experiences go unnoticed and undiscussed. With this project, I hope to explore, continue the exploration started in my poetry and bring more people's stories into the narrative. And then, Here's some examples. I typed up the interviews and I put the portraits in. And there are some of like 
some people had like really cool experiences. I talked to two girls who had moved around. One dad was in the military, so she'd been to Germany and all over the place. And then one girl who lived out in California and came back and how they sort of differed. And one girl wanted to get right back out, get back out to California. And the other was like, out of all the places I've lived, this is like, I found like a community here. I interviewed a mom and a daughter together. I interviewed two women who moved here from the Philippines about a month ago. So just a lot of very different perspectives that weren't necessarily ones I've heard a lot before or things that go unnoticed about St. Louis, like the women from the Philippines who are up here. Um, They're like, it's beautiful here. Like we lived in the Philippines and compared to that, like this is like paradise. The streets are nice, everybody's friendly. They did say it was too cold, but like, <laughs> fair play, it's winter. Um, one of my, a few of my favorite quotes from it is from Rosel, this is him and his kid. His kid was very nice. Um, but he was talking about how he had made poor decisions growing up and how they were still affecting him now. And he's talking about growing up in the inner city of St. Louis, surrounded by his family. And he said, um, it's good for a father to be in his kid's life. In the inner city of St. Louis, every child needs their father. So we're talking about how he hopes to be able, to, he had six kids, and how he hoped to be able to impact his children based on what he had learned from the city. So I'll like, have this around if anyone wants to read them or look at them, but that's just a little introduction as to what it was and a little peek into what it is. Come find me if you want to read it because I'm very proud of it. Thank you.